A bat, you know, she came out swinging, you know, just putting those suckers right in there right off the bat. I'm like, wow. One more, take your time. Oh, come on, you bat. Come on, keep going. Keep going. You can do it. Come on. Oh, almost. That's okay. Giving me hockey. I'm from Miami. We don't play hockey in Miami. Janelle's time of 145 is still the time to beat. Maggie, you're up. I thought to myself, shoot, I never played hockey. Why isn't Eric here playing? That's Eric's sport. Come on, Mag. There you go. Come on, Mag. Watch your foot. Keep it in the blue. Good job. I got through the first couple pretty fast, and um, I just kept going. The time flew by a lot faster than I thought. Jennifer, you're the last one up. The time to beat is still 145. Good luck. Come on, Jen. Come on, Jennifer. Easy. When I had to go back for putts, I would just like squat down from the bucket and throw them in between my legs like a dog digging a hole. Neck and neck. I was like, holy crap. I was like praying that she didn't get it. Get your, turn. Come on. This is you. This is a Keep going. Come on. Get your, turn. Come on. This is you. This is all you. There's a Come on, Jen, you can do it. Oh, wow. Close. Close. Janelle won the veto. She had, of course, dated a couple of hockey players. <laughs> Everyone back in Minnesota is probably extremely proud of me because it's hockey town, you know? Congratulations, Janelle. I'm winning the power of you. Thanks. <laughs> Once again, Janie stepped off. She recaptured that golden power of veto, and it's in our hands now what we want to do. Welcome back. How has Janelle winning the Golden Power Veto impacted the game? And will she choose to save either Maggie or Jennifer from eviction? What are they saying down there? What are they guessing? Or? Yvette says they think that it's personal against Jen. It is. <laughs> it's also strategical, though. She's smart. You're in choice. You do whatever you want to do. Maggie is rallying those troops. I think that we should get Jen out, though. I agree that, that is a very good strategical move. Mm -hmm. I just, I hate Maggie. Jennifer's a sleazy player. I don't want her in this right. house after That's what fine. she's done. You know those things where you feel in your gut? I feel in my gut that Maggie should go. Really? Maggie has to go home. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Maggie's deadly because she can see through me. Plain and simple. And since she knows what role she played, and removing Sarah from this house. Can you give me your word that they are going on? Your and, and okay. Sarah's and James's keys will be the two that are not in the box. Okay. She knows that my intentions are for revenge, just as her intentions are for revenge. Neither of us will rest until the other one is out of the house. And let's say Jen gets HOH. Jen is bendable. All right, Maggie is not breakable. I mean, you have a plan. I think you need to stick with it. Maybe you put Yvette up. You're guaranteed Bo's vote, and you're guaranteed mine. You know, I think putting up a vest is a smart idea. Why can't I put up April though? Why put you that up? Because okay. obviously, I want Maggie out of here. Well, either way, you know, if uh, we decide to use the veto, who we're going to take off, who, who we we're going to put up, a vet going up there is a win-win situation because we're going to have James's vote to, to keep a vet. 
We're gonna have Bo's vote to keep a vet. So we can, we're in control of this one. Mitzo's putting April up. Take the personal out of it, Jamie, yeah. and keep the strategy mm -hmm. in the game. All right. I think I nominated the right people. I just really want to break the group apart. It's great to have so much power in the house right now. However, I am pretty nervous that this puts, um, you know, a huge target on my back. Hey, everybody, it's time for the veto ceremony. This is the veto meeting. Maggie and Jennifer have been nominated for eviction. But I have the power to veto one of the nominations. But first, I will give each of you a chance to tell me why you think I should veto your nomination. Maggie, you can go first. I would love to be vetoed. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Jennifer, you may now speak. Um, I just wanted to say that I I believe that the display shown by people in this house last week was uncalled for and that I've never attacked anyone personally the way people did last week and I played the game strategically. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, I have decided to use my power of veto and I choose to use it on Maggie. I think I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> As head of household, I will now have to name a replacement nominee. And for strategic reasons, I will choose to evict, or excuse me, I choose to nominate Yvette. The veto meeting is adjourned. I was completely speechless that I was taken off the nomination block. Maybe I'll stay another week, but this is not a good thing. Someone else from my group is going up. I shouldn't find any comfort in myself being the one removed. Guys, I'm so sorry I was taken off the block. It's not your fault. Because I don't want to put someone else through what I, what's going on right now. I choose to evict Yvette. Before saying my name, she said, I choose to evict Yvette. That didn't make me feel comfortable at all. I remember when I was put up as a pawn and everybody told me how safe I was, and all of a sudden I started getting a funny feeling? It's Jennifer, that, that's the reason they did it's it. It's like they obviously want me gone or they wouldn't have taken Maggie up. This is all personal. Yeah, they knew that they know that Bo's not going to vote for you. James isn't going to vote for you because y'all have been friends forever. I've been trying to gather information and play both sides as much as possible and hopefully get all these bastards out of here. It's me. If for... they wanted you gone absolutely positively oh. for sure, wouldn't it be better to put up somebody like Bo, who we know for sure no one's going to vote off? I just, they're never going to get over what I did to Kaser last week, ever. They're like completely destroyed about it. Either way they win because they're splitting up a pair. 